Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little sit down video, if you will. I haven't done one of these in a while. I am going to be showing you everything that I got my family for Christmas. I do this pretty much every year. I like to show you guys everything that I got. It's kind of like a gift guide in a way. I think at the end of the video I'll share some other ideas that I've gotten in the past that I think are good gift ideas. But we are doing tipsy edition this year. <laughs> I am dressed because I have a little Christmas party tonight with some friends from the gym. So I just got ready to go because I figured, you know what? I'm going to a Christmas party. We're filming a Christmas video. I get a little festive. I just got my new Spanx in the mail and I'm obsessed with them. They have petite because I'm 5'1", so everything's along on me, but I got these petite pants. I just have to show you guys. I know this isn't what I got for Christmas, but they go wide leg at the bottom and they're so flattering they're a tiny bit long on me still even though i got the petite but i'm gonna wear booty heels so i think i'll be fine like i don't think i need to get them hemmed any shorter because once i put on any type of shoe i think this little extra bit will be like sit on top of the shoe so it'll be perfectly fine they have like fake pockets on the back i don't know if you guys can see um they're so thick and I'm obsessed with them, so I will link them down below for you guys. I feel like a businesswoman. And then my top is from Forever 21. I've been loving their little tops lately. It's a square neck. I actually wore this on Thanksgiving. Shh. But I didn't really film that much on Thanksgiving. And I really like the top. And I think it's a great top for a Christmas party. And uh, what I got my family for Christmas video. So cheers. I am drinking pink lemonade and Tito's. I'm a vodka gal, I must say. My mom is taking me to and from the party so I can drink now. Zane is at tennis so it's just me and you. I did this purposely so that he wouldn't hear any of his gifts. It's perfect timing so let's get into this. I also had to film this day because I'm getting my hair extensions out tomorrow and I'm not getting them in for another like 12 days after that so I wanted to film with my hair extensions in. Not that that matters. I've already been filming for four minutes so let's get this show on the road. As you can see I've got my Christmas tree behind me that is kind of all wonky from the cat but what I've been doing is stuffing everything behind it so I'm gonna pull things out this probably is gonna be a hot mess I did bring a box cutter proud of me so I have a box cutter in case we need to open anything I'm gonna show you guys this video and then we will do a wrap with me as well I think I'm gonna start shopping this way that I did this year every year I did most of my shopping on Black Friday weekend and Cyber Monday and now I have everything I can film this for you guys we can wrap and I like not stress I just feel so good that I have basically all my shopping done so new tradition and I got everything on sale so I think it's a good tradition to get everything on Black Friday saves the stress and saves you money and gives me content here we go oh one more thing if you're my family and you're watching this video I will haunt you in your sleep <laughs> Click your ass off, okay? We can actually start with Zane. This is a gift that I got for him that I have not opened yet. Zane, if you didn't know, used to be a sneakerhead. He loves shoes. He actually loves fashion too. And he used to trade. He used to have like 100 pairs of sneakers. He used to sell them. And then he got into music and focused all of his time and energy and money on that. Now, obviously music is now his career, and this has become, you know, fun for him to do fashion again. So, I think I got him a pair of mochas last year, actually. I asked him for ideas of what he wanted for Christmas, he sent me a few options of sneakers, and these are the ones that I picked. I got them from StockX, so I'll link them. They're the Nike Dunk Low Retro White and Black. 2021. In my opinion, they basically look like Air Forces, just black and white. I think they're nice, and I think he'll like them. Well, he picked them out, but I chose this pair out of the other ones. Now I have to go find other gifts for Zane in the tree. Next, I got Zane this Abercrombie white basic t-shirt. He goes through white t-shirts so fast, whether he gets a stain on them or anything of the above, or they don't fit right anymore. And he always gets like pretty, you know, low quality ones so i figured i'd get him one from abercrombie i only got him one in one color just to see um if he likes the fit and everything hello rude ring if he likes the fit because zane's pretty picky about the way his clothes fit him as everybody should be when things fit you feel your best but it feels like really nice quality and the reviews are really good from the website of men saying how much they love the way these t-shirts fit so we're gonna see if he likes that it's actually funny it works out because yesterday he was getting dressed and he was taking out his white shirt and he's like oh like look at that stain that stain that stain and he's like i love white t-shirts but they're so hard to keep up with and i was like wow that's perfect timing because i literally got you one for christmas and you didn't even ask for it next thing i got zane is another pair of shoes we love our crocs zane is obsessed with his black ones but he wanted ones to wear around the house zane has plantar fasciitis which is basically just causes a lot of foot pain 
and he likes to wear something around the house going barefoot just like kills him so he said he wanted another pair for the house and he said white would work and i know that santa's bringing me white crocs so i thought we could match and it would differentiate like which ones are house which ones are outdoor if they're a different color so then we've got a few target items so zane has played tennis his whole life but this year recently he's like really really gotten back into it like is playing multiple times a week and he requested like towels because he's been taking like hour towels <laughs> with him to like wipe his sweat and stuff obviously we wash them after but he wanted like his own set of towels so I just got him a black set from Target this was literally ten dollars and it's packaged all cute it's like the perfect little Christmas gift it comes with two smaller ones and then two large ones I didn't really know what sizes he wanted I feel like both could be useful so I just got him the pack of those I just thought that was it's, it's so it came so cute he also needed more undies so we got him some boxers <laughs> He doesn't do his laundry that often. He waits until last minute. So he finds himself having to do laundry because he's out of underwear. So actually, maybe I shouldn't have gotten him those because now he's just going to let his laundry pile up even more. <laughs> I also got him um, this Harry's body wash. He recently discovered this and he absolutely loves it. So what better on Christmas than to receive like a refill of your favorite products and stuff like that. I just feel like it's a nice gift. So I went ahead and got him that. Ladies, if you need to get your man something. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, the cats are playing with the bag. This one is the fig scent. I know they have a ton of other scents, but this is the one that Zane uses, and wow, it smells amazing. Yum. It's like fresh, but also masculine. I really like it. I also got him a present that has not come in the mail yet, but it is a beard hair catcher. So basically it goes around the neck and then it suction cups onto the mirror in the bathroom. He constantly struggles with having to clean up his beard hair. He has to like, uh, it's just a process obviously. And like it like clings, you know, hair can get like staticky. So this like suctions to the mirror in front of him and it's kind of like a um, hair cutting cape like that. I'll put up a picture on, the hello? <laughs> I'll put a picture up on the screen. I got it from Walmart. It was like $13. And I think it's something practical that he'll use because it's easy, you know? You just snap it around your neck, suction it to the thing, and go ahead and trim your beard. So I'm still toying around with getting him maybe a few more things. The sneakers were really expensive. Um, but he deserves it. And you guys, gift giving is my love language. I love doing it. It's my favorite. But if you guys want to see anything else that I get people, you guys will watch my Christmas vlog. I'll show the other stuff there because I'm still shopping for a few little things, but the main majority is done. So yeah, if you want to see the other stuff that I end up getting, stick around for the rest of the month. So that is Zane. Let's move on. I'm pulling everything out so I don't have to keep going behind the tree. Okay, next I'm going to show you what I got for my sister. This is a silly gift, but you know what? She'll use it. She loves post-its. I don't know why this girl has an addiction. When she would like drive around in her car, she would have them like all over her dashboard to like remind her of things. A hot mess, but like we love her, right? So I got her some post-its, a little array of colors, and then I also got this, which I thought was cute. It's a little stand. You could put like pens and pencils in it, and then it's also a dispenser, so she can easily take out her post-its. It's like paper weighted, so I thought that she would like that. I also got her a pair spanks these are not them these are mine that i just got in the mail but these are what i'm giving her they didn't come yet but they are kind of like a pleather material my sister wears leggings every single day just like plain cotton leggings so i was like let me get her a pair that she can like dress up if she wants to like go out to a nice dinner but still be comfortable in her leggings so i thought that she would like this like faux leather look so i got her a pair of spanks she also thought that the idea of my cheese shredder attachment for my kitchenaid was so cool and i was like okay i Obviously, gift idea, duh, I wrote it down when she said it. So I got her a attachment for the KitchenAid that shreds cheese. I know she likes cooking and I know she has a KitchenAid and she complimented it. So that's a gift that she's getting as well. I also got her a $25 home goods gift card. If you guys didn't know, she just moved to Houston, Texas. So she just moved into a house and what better than a home goods gift card? when you just move and literally my sister loves gift cards like you know how people are like oh i'm not getting a gift card because it's not sentimental my sister loves gift cards it is sentimental to her she will cry when she gets a home goods gift card so that's meaningful to her moving on to dad so i'm really excited about this one again mom and dad look at me right now if you are watching this video i will Oh, I'll be so mad at you, so click your ass off. They better not. If there was a way I could block it from them, I would. 
I have to have trust. I gotta give you guys this content, so I have to have trust that they're not gonna watch. Okay. Who would want to ruin a surprise? I wouldn't. I got my dad. Well, me, my mom, Zane, and my sister are all giving him this joint gift. And basically, we got him a professional organizer for the garage. I am so excited, you guys. He is going to be so excited. And I've been chatting back and forth with the company. They're going to work directly with us. It's going to happen in a few sessions. I will vlog it for you guys. I'm sure my dad will film it. They're going to label things. They're going to organize things. The garage is my dad's, like, safe space. And he's tried to organize it many times. It's just very hard for him. He doesn't like to get rid of things. He doesn't like to, you know... I just feel like... It's hard for him to organize stuff, basically. I am just very excited and happy for him already. I feel like he's going to be really excited about it. And I did ask him if he would like professional organizer. And he said, yeah, as long as they just don't, like, get rid of my stuff. And she was like, no, of course. Like, I'll go through everything with him. We'll make a sell pile, a donate pile. So I'm really excited. So I have that gift card right here. I'm going to wrap it up all cute. And we'll probably do that, like, in the springtime when it starts to get a little bit warmer since it's so cold and, like, the garage, you know, you have to be outside. So... <laughs> who takes a sip in the middle of a sentence i don't know i'm just excited for that journey for him i feel like having an organized space is game changing and she's done garages before this company so she'll come through and like organize all of his screws and his hammers and stuff like that and actually within the last few weeks my dad has been putting like shelves and like building stuff because he wants to get organized he just doesn't take the time to do it it would literally take so long so that's why we're hiring a professional but it is making it easier for her because he's adding like um you know tables and shelves and stuff like that so i'm so excited to give that to him i think he's gonna be so excited we didn't lock in a date yet but i bet when i give it to him he's gonna be like can we do it sooner than spring so we'll see and so to go along with that i figured he will want to keep up with the space and keeping up with the space is hard so let me make that easier for him so i got him a little label maker so that he can you know if he wants to change things around or add things he has his own little label maker i think he'll be very excited to use that i feel like he's gonna start labeling everything you're welcome mom <laughs> you hanging out with me look at bailey you guys look at her she's so cute i also lastly got him a little mini yeti my mom said that he wanted this probably for his coffee to take to work in the morning so it's just a black simple little yeti and that's what i got my dad i might get him a few tiny little things um, I always get everybody lotto tickets and candy and stuff like that. So again, you guys will see on Christmas, but these are just the bulk bigger gifts. Let's move on to mom because I'm really excited about her gift. You guys, it's going to be so amazing to be able to give this to her on Christmas. So get excited for the vlog. This is from a company called Sprout and I've been directly chatting with them back and forth. Basically, what I got my mom is a custom piece of jewelry. Again, mom, if you are watching this, I will be so mad at you. I am going to wait to show you guys on Christmas, but it came in this beautiful packaging. It is a piece of jewelry, it is a necklace, and it is customized with the handwriting of my grandpa, so my mom's dad. And it just says dad on it, and I'm going to wait to show you guys. What I did was I had my dad sneak into my mom's stuff and find a birthday card that my grandpa had written my mom. Um, he passed when I was very young, probably I was like, I think I was like seven years old. And um, I just remember my grandpa being such like a positive ray of sunshine, even though I was so young, I don't remember him much, but I remember him just being like overall just an amazing person. And I know that my mom misses him a lot. And I know that she loves jewelry and sentimental items. So I just thought that this was a great gift to give her. I found this company on TikTok and they've been so sweet and like t chatting with me about everything. Oh, so what I was saying is I had my dad go into my mom's stuff and sneak and find a birthday card and I took his handwriting from a birthday card that said, you know, love dad. And I turned it into a necklace for her. So I am so excited to give that to her. Uh, I'm, I, I'm just, I can't wait. Like, can't wait for Christmas because of that. And so a gift to go along with that was my grandpa loved Eeyore. And so every time we see Eeyore, it just reminds us of him. And so I wanted to give her, you know, a gift that goes along with that theme. So I was like, what can I give her that's Eeyore? I'm like, a stuffed animal. Cute. But like, what is she really going to do with that, you know? So I just looked up like Eeyore, you know, like to find items that had to do with Eeyore. And I found a keychain, which I thought was perfect. She's always driving around. She works for Instacart. You guys know this. So she's always using her car keys. And I know that she likes stuff that goes on her keychain so i thought it was perfect and this says it never hurts to keep looking for sunshine and it has a little picture of eeyore 
on the bottom there. So, oh my god, I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> so I am so excited to give this to her. I wish my grandpa was still here. That'd be pretty cool. I also am going to give her a Subway gift card to the sandwich shop. Okay, you guys are going to laugh at me, but I wrote it down, and I don't remember if it's because she said that she used to take the Subway with her dad a lot, or they used to go eat at Subway. I think they used, she said they used to go eat lunch at Subway all the time. I wrote it down for some reason, because I knew it had to go with the gift, and I think she said that they used to eat Subway. So I'm going to get her a Subway gift card, so it's going to be kind of like a themed Christmas gift. So that's what I got my mom. Zane's little brother, Amani, is my hardest person to buy gifts for. He's just a very simple person. He's just like, oh, you can get me like Nike and Adidas stuff. So I like to give gifts that are thoughtful. So it's hard for me to find that through him because obviously, like, I don't know, we're not like super duper close. I adore him and love him. But what we got him was a massage gun because he works full time at the tennis club. So he is constantly just like, you know, achy sore so he doesn't have a massage gun so we figured that would be a great gift for him we're also going to get him a mouse for his computer for gaming he needs a new mouse and that's all that we've got so far for him um i'm gonna keep brainstorming and get him something else but i'm not sure yet so if you guys have an idea for a gift for a 20 year old boy please let me know. Next up, we have Zane's little sister, Aaliyah. I got her some nail polishes because she loves doing her nails. She has like a rack hanging in her room to organize all of her polishes. I got her some neutrals in me fashion. Um, this is like a metallic brown color. If you guys are interested, this one is called Seeing Stars, number 630. And then this one is called Lighten the Mood, 072. It's like a pinky nude. And then this one is called Less Is Aura. And this is number 660. It's like a darker peachy nude. So I got her those. She wouldn't. I don't think she would. But Aaliyah, if you're watching, I'll kill you. Click off of this video. Guys, I'm so excited about this one. I haven't told you guys this either. I could cry thinking about it. I literally bought these, I think, back in like March. So it, it's been a while. Guys, I got us Billie Eilish tickets. We're going in February, I think it's the 18th or the 19th, and I didn't get us like floor seats, but basically the section right above that, front row. I am so excited. Also, when I say I got her, I mean Zane and I. All of these gifts are from Zane and I, obviously not the ones to Zane, but these are all from both of us. Um, I just like, I like shopping for them, I like picking them out, but we both bought everything. So we got her Billie Eilish tickets and I'm so excited. So me and her are going, she doesn't know yet, but it's February and it's at Madison Square Garden. I saw Billie at GovBall and it just wasn't the experience that I was wanting from seeing her. It was my first time seeing her. And if you guys know, you know I adore Billy. If you guys saw the videos on my experience on that, then you saw it. Um, you can go watch that vlog if you want to. But I'm just so excited to go see her again. Aaliyah is such a big fan. She literally has posters of her in her room. She listens to her all the time. And we both absolutely love her. So she is going to freak out. So I'm going to print tickets of... Um, you know the ticket and i'll i'll wrap it up cool somehow and then i'll print tickets of like our seats if you guys remember i got my sister billy tickets like a few years ago two years ago and then COVID happened so we actually traded those in for justin bieber tickets i don't know if i told you guys that so we're going to see justin bieber like april 1st i think so that's what me and my sister are doing she already has her flight back here to come see that with me but now I'm getting to see Billy and Justin, so that's amazing. I love getting people concert tickets because then it's like a gift for me too. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. I'm probably going to get her a few tiny little more things, but her big gift is definitely done because we got some good seats. Can I also say too that it is 4.30 and it feels like it is 9 p.m. Like I was getting ready at like 2.30 and I was like, it's dark. It's dark outside. I mean, it was like rainy today, but I was like, wow, it feels like it's nighttime. Zane's stepdad is another difficult one. He's not difficult, but he just likes, you know, cars and tools and stuff like that, which to me is boring, but I know that it's like, you know, his passion in life. I just I never know what to get him. Like, what does he have? What does he need? I know nothing about tools. So he actually requested this. So we, oh my God, it's actually heavy. I don't even know what this is, a socket set? So we got him a socket set. <laughs> this is from Amazon. And um, he actually recently just got a new job. I am drunk. I'm like finishing up my drink and I'm like, oh, whoa. 
He recently just got a new job at a new mechanic shop, mechanic shop, and he is loving it. And I didn't know this, but mechanics actually bring their own toolbox. I guess it makes sense because, like, if you're a makeup artist, hair person, hair stylist, <laughs> if you're a makeup artist or a hair stylist, like, you bring your own stuff. Um, I just figured that, like, a body shop provided their tools, like, they want you to use their good stuff, but you bring your own. So, he's been needing a lot of new tools, so we got him this kit. Also, I can't take credit for this idea. This was Jerry's idea to, that she gave me, but Ever Loves Wine, and I got him these wine toppers, but you guys, I don't mind taking them out of the packaging, because I'm going to package them cute. So, they're like wine stoppers, but they look like tools. I think it's such a cute idea, but I did not come up with it, unfortunately. Look at them. This one looks like the spout of, like, not a spout, like the turner for our, um, a hose. And then this one is a hammer, and it goes into the wine bottle. And then this one looks like a screwdriver. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> I literally got them on Amazon. The hammer is even, like, fake banged up, like it has, you know, like the black missing. I thought that that was so cute, so. That's all that I got him so far. Um, I'm also probably going to just give him a Home Depot gift card because he is on the hunt for a tool uh, toolbox. <laughs> He's on the hunt for a toolbox for his new job. He just doesn't know which one he wants yet. So we were all going to pitch in and get him a toolbox. But instead, we're just going to give him Home Depot gift cards. And he can go get whatever one he wants. Lastly, grand finale, we have Jerry, Zane's mom, my boyfriend's mom, if you're new here. Um, first things first, she recently got into her Cricut machine. She's obsessed with it. She loves it. So she actually requested some, what is it? I don't know, vinyl, I think. I know nothing about crafts. It's like black and white paper that she can do, I don't know what with, but somebody on our Facebook group for Agamil suggested this company. I actually bought it on Amazon and then you guys sent this company and it was like way cheaper for way more of it and the same brand. So I returned it from Amazon and bought it from here, but it's paper for her Cricut to do something with. I'm not sure, but that's what we got her. <laughs> oh my God. She also asked for this um, facial hair remover. It's from Amazon, flawless facial hair remover. I think hers broke or something. So she wanted a uh, new one. This is one of her big gifts. Um, I got her the list C. La C. I never know how to pronounce this, but this is the hard drive that I use. And it's basically like, you could run over it with a ton, I think. It's like indestructible. And basically what she wants is to put all of her photos. She stores them on Facebook. And I'm like, girl, like what if Facebook goes down? You're going to lose all your pictures. So we're going to get her an external hard drive that is like, you know, you can like throw it around if you need to. You could throw this thing across the room. This is what I use for my footage. So I got her one terabyte for that. And I also went ahead and designed it myself and printed it and cut it out. <laughs> we got her a coupon so that Zane and I, it says one coupon, a session with Liz and Zane to help transfer and organize your photos. So we'll sit with her by her computer. Sorry, the cats are messing with the paper bags. We'll sit with her by her computer and we'll transfer her pictures for her. We'll organize them into folders, you know, the whole nine. So that is um, her like big gift. Also, she does not really like cooking, but every time I cook and she's around, she compliments this pan that I have from Amazon that Zane got me actually for Christmas last year. It's just a big, deep, good pan. It's got the lid. So I got her that from Amazon. The handle is really pretty too. It's like a faux wood kind of look and it's just like a deep skillet so it's just a large skillet i was iffy about it because i'm like she doesn't like to cook but also if you don't like to cook having something that makes it better and easier will be beneficial and she just compliments it all the time so we got that for her and then lastly she <laughs> there was a time where we did like family cooking and she was talking about how we had dawn soap and i was talking about how i didn't like the smell of it so i ended up giving it to her and she's like i love dawn soap it's the best soap i don't buy it because it's expensive and i was like seriously come on like it's like three dollars a bottle like just treat yourself to some soap if you really like it that much she's like i buy it but i only use it for like washing something special like i don't use it for the dishes and i'm like oh my god okay christmas idea i'm gonna buy her like giant dawn soaps <laughs> let me open this i haven't opened it yet I got it on Amazon. Literally, <laughs> I got two of these giant Dawn soaps. Let me smell it. Yeah, see, I just don't like the smell of this one. Maybe a different flavor I would like, or scent I would like. 
So I got her two of those. It's kind of like a gag gift, but like she'll actually use it. And I know that her pump thing on her kitchen sink is broken. So I went ahead and I saw this at Home Goods and I got it for her. You put batteries in it. I have to buy the batteries still because guys, don't give somebody a gift that needs batteries in it and don't give them batteries with it. You know, I feel like that's a must. I mean, if you don't want to, it's fine. But in my opinion, like I, if you're giving me a gift with batteries that needs batteries, like give me the batteries with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, this is like an automatic, put your hand under it. The soap comes out. I feel like that will be really beneficial while washing dishes. You can just put the sponge under it. Soap will come out, her nice Dawn soap. And yeah, so that's that. And very lastly, I also got, this is a joint gift for both her and Ever. I actually got this when I was in Boston, so like literally so long ago. When did I go? September or October? I went to a Christmas store in Boston and Jerry and Ever have said how they love watching the show I Love Lucy. If you don't know, you're probably too young. It's a show back in the day. My parents used to watch it. It's like comedy um, and just like a feel good, you know, show. And Jerry has said to me, you know, like it just makes them laugh. It makes them feel good. It's just a feel good show for them. So I got her and she loves Christmas and she loves Christmas trees. She literally has two of them. So I saw this um, ornament in the Boston Christmas store and it's I Love Lucy. And I just like saw it and I called Zane and I was like, is this a good gift for them? And he was like, yeah, it's so cute. She actually did this year. She has two trees. One of them is like special ornaments and the other one is just like pretty aesthetically pleasing ornaments so she'll put this on her like fun ornament tree and I feel like it's just so fitting so it'll represent like you know happiness for them I feel like so I thought that that was kind of thoughtful and the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is I got a treat for her dogs <laughs> I saw this when I was in PetSmart and I thought it was the funniest thing ever they have so much like pet Christmas items and I just had to do it. So this one says Felice Naughty Dog instead of Felice Naughty Dog. Get it? <laughs> um, I figured she can break it in half and give it to both of her dogs. So I got that because I don't have a dog. So it gave me an excuse to buy something cute because they never have cute stuff like that for cats. And cheers to that everybody. <laughs> amazing i have a list here on my phone i'm gonna run through very quickly some random gift ideas that i have for you guys that i've given in the past a great one is subscriptions because it's the gift that keeps on giving i like to give three months i feel like that's the perfect happy medium i've given zane like an alcohol subscription so if somebody likes to make cocktails you can give them a subscription where it gives them all the mixers and you just have to buy the alcohol and it comes to the house and they can make different types of cocktails you can also give beauty subscriptions there's so many different types if somebody likes makeup skincare stuff like like that we've given a weed subscription if you know somebody that likes to smoke if you know somebody that likes to stay organized I recently redid my spices so you can give them spice jars and spice labels I feel like that's a great gift because it's something that people don't think about but it's like oh this is actually gonna help my life this is a nice gift thank you I'm also all here for experiences I love experience gifts they're my favorite thing ever I love to receive them I love to give them I feel like you know a memory is just so priceless rather than giving somebody an item items are all great and dandy but there's nothing like giving somebody a memory that they'll cherish forever so whether it's a vacation a concert a Broadway show you can give them like dinner and a surprise you know like give them a gift card to go out to dinner with them um, whether it's like you go to dinner and go-karting or you rent a cool car to drive around to dinner you know stuff like that and then obviously a great gift always is a gift for somebody's hobby so like Jerry loves her cricket so stuff for her cricket Zane loves tennis so stuff like that um, for me I love cooking so like any kitchen gadgets are fun um, my dad loves cars Zane's stepdad loves cars so any things like that I love Google you can always just be like gifts for somebody that loves cars gifts for somebody that loves cooking a cool gift for somebody that loves tennis you know stuff like that massage gifts are always great in my opinion not even just a massage gift card but like you know the foot massager that you put your feet in I kind of requested that we'll see if Santa brings it to me a back massager a massage gun if you know somebody that's very active it's a great thing to have DNA kits whether it's a pet or a person I've gotten somebody a DNA kit um, Zane's mom and she loved seeing it I requested one for Bella and Benji I really want to know what kind of cats they are we're we adopted them so obviously they're mixes of a bunch of things but I want to know primarily what they are I'm just very curious so I requested that gift cards obviously can be quite boring and um you know thoughtless I love gift cards but I don't necessarily love giving them because it's not as exciting for me 
But if you're going to get somebody a gift card, I think things that are useful are great, like a car wash or a massage or getting their nails done. Treat them to something, you know? Personally, I hate paying for car washes. I hate it. I don't know why. It's so dumb because, like, wash your car. Like, you, you wash your ass, you know? So I requested car wash gift cards because it's just something that I don't find myself spending money on. But having a clean car is nice. I just don't do it. Um, something else that I requested for Christmas was a Polaroid camera and their refills. Um, you can capture the physical memory. Memories. You can also buy them a gift to put the Polaroids in. Also something that I have is a Canon 4x6 printer. So you basically Bluetooth your phone to it and it prints 4x6 photos. I also have a big photo album for it. I need to do that actually, it's been a while. You can print photos straight from your phone. So if you just take my phone, you can print them right out and put them in a photo album. I know we're so technologically advanced nowadays, but it's so nice to have physical memories. I think it's great to look back on. So I love that. Highly recommend. If you know somebody that likes to get themselves ready, a hair tool can be a great gift. I obviously love my Dyson Airwrap. Very expensive. Um, I did my hair with a curling iron today, so I love both just as much. The Revlon blow dry brush is also great if you know somebody that is constantly washing their hair and always wants it to look nice. The Revlon blow dry brush will blow dry it and straighten it um, and make it look like a blowout all at the same time. And then just some random things is um, an electric candle lighter. I love mine. I know that's so random, but it's kind of like game changing if somebody doesn't know that it exists. You just recharge it and it lights all your candles. If you know somebody that likes to take selfies or film videos and stuff like that, this mini ring light is a great gift. I have it on my camera right now, literally from Amazon. It's so affordable. It is dying right now because I've been chatting for so long, but I have two and I flip flop them on the charger. So I always have one charged. Nice sheets. People tend to not want to spend money on their sheets, me being one of those people, but then I did a brand deal with Brooklinen and game changed. I would spend so much money on those sheets again because it has improved our sleep so much. Literally Zayn loves them and they are so soft and they feel so luxurious like you're at a hotel. So giving somebody nice sheets, especially if somebody wouldn't purchase them for themselves, I feel like is a great gift. And lastly, Anything customized, whether it's jewelry or um, a pet portrait. I love this company called Bloom. They were actually a subscriber and they sent me a pet portrait of the three of my cats and it was the most thoughtful thing ever. And I think if you know somebody that loves their animals, such a great gift. My boyfriend's mom has rings with the kids' names on it that she loves. I just feel like personalized gifts are very thoughtful and people feel like, oh my god, they put like effort into that, you know? So, woo! Those are my gift ideas. Sorry I chatted your ear off. I feel like I've been talking forever, but I am now surrounded by gifts in front of me. So I hope that you guys got some ideas and enjoyed seeing this. Make sure you come back for my Christmas vlog. I will be showing everybody's reactions to everything. Get excited because I feel like we're going to have some good reactions this year. I am really excited. I am very tipsy. <laughs> Now, but I'm excited. I'm gonna go to my Christmas party now have some drinks and good food and good laughs and good people So I'm happy about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It feels weird that I'm not vlogging I feel like I should pick you guys up and do something else, but I feel like I'm chalked for the night I'm just gonna have another drink and enjoy myself kind of perfect timing though. My ring light is dying So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys So flattering. <gasps> Not the straw coming out. Anyways, we're good. We're safe. Oh God. <laughs> I think I made this drink a little strong. Let me put it down. Basically everything on Black Friday and Black Friday. Okay. Obviously he's not like, get me this for Christmas, but he's like, I asked for him. What? Good thing these pants are stretchy. <sighs> That's pretty cool to me. It's pretty cool. Let drink, drink up, Alyssa. Loud. Careful. Wow. Ow. Go full. Watch my drink, Benji. You know, bulletproof. Not really. You could probably put a bullet inside of it, but don't do that. Watching the show. Sorry, the paper is kind of loud. Okay. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> You could like run over it with a ton or something. Wait, it says it here. No, it doesn't. Uh, Jerry has said to me how like, you know, in there, in there like. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> the older I get. I'm at that point where I'm like, wow, am I embarrassing myself?